Hi again, everybody. Today's tutorial is going to be about wipers, wiper motors, and also windshield washer fluid pumps, the, the motor. Let's look how the schematic explains it. If you notice, and I point out this in my other videos, wiper fuse 25 amps. Over here you have a dotted line, a switch. This is a switch, a switch, switch. These are ganged together. That means whenever this contact, this switch is moved a position, this one also move, this one also move to the same position. They are ganged together. They all move simultaneously at the same time. So, for example, if I'm moving this one to low, this one will also move to low. This one will also move to low. If I'm moving this one to high, high speed, this one will go to high speed. This one will all go to high speed. All three will go to the same position on the switch. Now, if you notice, we have a washer, a washer fluid pump, a motor. When you want to wash the windows, this you need fluid. And you have a pump to deliver that. So therefore, this current, this another gang switch over here for the washer, you activate the switch. When you activate the switch, this contact switch goes from this position to this position. This one goes from this position to this position. Therefore, current can flow from here, here, here to the pump to spray wa oh, washer fluid on the window by the pump. And the other branch or the other circuit goes to a wiper motor controller. Now let's say the speed, we want to control the speed. As many times we do, we want to put it on low or high for the wipers. How does it happen? Let's see the circuit. As you know, my other videos about toyotas basically they're all the same thing this is for a chevy a pontiac they're all the same idea basically you have resistors with different value resistors over here if you see it now the higher the value of the resistor this is 680k this is 270 the higher the value the lower the voltage will go to the motor to this module let's say over here if you have no resistance, like over here, when you put on high, you have a high speed. When you have a high speed over here, then you have the full voltage coming over here to the motor. And if you put on a midway speed, whatever that is, you might be on a resistor 150K or 82K, whatever that is. At the same time that this is happening, you have another switch. Remember, the switch are going simultaneously. So when this is going high, this is going high. This is another control line for the controller, for the wiper motor. And this one over here, when you go into high, this is high, this is high, this is high. So you have a path over here. See the path? Through this resistor, 24K, going through here, and also going through here through this control line. So therefore, from these resistors, you can control, you can control the speed of the wiper motor. And basically, that's how they all work. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it's pretty, pretty concise, and it's pretty straightforward, this is. Obviously, if you have no speed and doesn't work on anything, then I will come to the fuse or anything like that. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. And remember, my channel is Automotive Electronics by Joseph. Thanks for watching.